Yeah, yeah, okay. So he was questioning how can Jesus be God? Would you agree or not, just based on a, on a historical context, okay? Yeah. That when we look at anyone in history, whether it be Alexander the Great, Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, you have to go to the earliest sources about that person's life. Would you agree? So if I say to you, okay, for example, uh, let's, say, let's say your father's name is uh, David and your grandfather's name is uh, Henry, okay? If I say to you, you came from Henry, is that wrong or is that true? If I say to you, I am a participant in this discussion, and some guy over there comes along and says, that means nothing. Because is that you nonsense? You, you have evidence because the camera's right here, you can show them. We have evidence in the writings. Muhammad says about Joseph being sold into slavery. He says that he was sold for 12 dirhams, okay, in the Quran. But the problem is, and it's not really a problem, but I'm saying if you want to be consistent, the problem for you would be, dirhams was not used as a currency in the time of Joseph. You can't, you can't just say you believe we, we and have then you to, go heaven. If I believe I've lived a goodly life, yeah? should I go to heaven? Uh, well, because you, you believe you I've uh, okay, had a bad okay, well, life. You say good life. What do you mean by good life? What do you mean I've by done good, good, good to my neighbours. I've helped. Oh, oh, that's that's part of yeah, I know, wait, wait, I know. But you're not it's part of it. But wait, because wait, I don't believe in Islam, does that mean I'm going to hell? If, if, Although I'm a good I'll person. tell you what, if you don't believe, according to us, if you don't believe, if you don't worship God alone, and, and, and if, you, if you worship other than God, then yeah, you're, you're going to hell. Yeah. Well, let, let, me, let, me, but, let me explain, let me explain. No, that's that's, that's because I believe in my God, because you're God. Yeah, but no, you believe no, no, in the no, 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 no. So, so, can I ask you a question? Because you, you were speaking earlier, sorry to interrupt, right. you, you, you were speaking earlier about Jesus being God or not, you were trying to disprove the deity of Christ, yeah? About Jesus? Yeah, yeah I heard you earlier, yeah, okay. So you were questioning how can Jesus be God. Would you agree or not, just based on a, on a historical context, okay, that when we look at anyone in history, whether it be Alexander the Great, Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, you have to go to the earliest sources about that person's life, would you agree? We can get yeah, to that, we can get to that, but one second. The Quran says everything. One at a time, please. The Quran talks about everything about them, about Moses, about, about Jesus, about uh, Muhammad. No, but the question is, is that the earliest source on the life of Christ, yes or no? It's not that. The source has been changed at the, at the, at the life of uh, Jesus. So how do you know that? Because, because it's been changed so many times, there's a hundred... How do you know that? There's a hundred chapters of the Bible. Do you have authentic declarations? Hold on. So did you say there's a hundred chapters of the Bible? A lot. I don't know how Why does that mean the Bible's been changed? There's a lot of versions of the Bible. Sorry? Such as? Tell me. A lot like Paul, like, you name it. There is, there is no, there is no Paul version of the Bible. There is, there is a lot of versions. There's a lot of... Like what? Tell me. You're making a claim, tell me. If what you mean, if what you mean, one second, brother. If what you mean is translation, there are many. Translation. Brother, one second. It's changed. It's been one changed. second. It's been altered. Okay, it's been, show me. It's been, show how, me. How can I show you? I don't have the original version of the Bible. You're making, you're making the claim. It's been changed. But yet everyone knows. But yet you're not. Even Christians themselves know this. All, no, we don't. Yeah, 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 That's why we don't on, say it's been changed. Come on, man. Wait, wait, like, you know this? If you mean change yeah, in the sense of, hold on, brother. It's been added. You can take it over. That's fine. But let's go back. Let's go back to the. Let's go back to the original point. Okay, the deity of Christ. If we go to the earlier sources of the life of Christ, what are they? They are Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and there's even some references of Christ before this in, in, in some of Paul's epistles. Wait, wait, show me. Wait, wait, wait. How, Mark, Luke, listen, and John, how am I supposed to show you how, how it's how well, then why, do you, why are you coming I, here making the claim it's been corrupted because we all but you're not this, backing it's, it's it up? It's, 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 how am I supposed to show you it? We all believe in pink unicorns. Ask me to prove it. Listen, listen, listen. How am I supposed to show you it? I could just say, no, no, I don't need to prove it. We all just believe in pink unicorns. Don't, listen, look at these feet, man. Donkeys with the horse of a leg. Let me speak, man. I'm trying to speak, man. Let me speak. Peacock tail. If I, if I don't have the fake version, how, if I don't have the original version. No, what you need to do is, you need to prove that there is a fake version that's been changed to the point where it's no longer reliable. Show me. Prove it. Because if it's a book from God, it needs to be 100% right. Show me why it's not right. Okay. I, I, don't, I have not read the Bible. I have okay. read the Bible, but I can give you a verse. When it when it's talking about Joseph and it says the kid, no, it says uh, the Pharaoh and the, and the Pharaoh the or something like that. I don't know. Uh, okay, I know the argument. Let me let me let me still man your argument. Still manning argument is taking an argument and making it stronger. What you're referring to, okay, is that in the time of Moses, he would not have been called Pharaoh. He would have been called king. Yes. Or in the time of Joseph, sorry. In the time of Joseph, he would have been called king, not Pharaoh. Yes. Okay, do you know why he's called Pharaoh, not king, in the biblical narrative? Do you know why? Think about it. Because Joseph did not write this book. They are called the five books of Moses, okay? And Moses came after who? 
Okay, so if they're the five books of Moses, in the time of Moses writing this, okay, Wait, he, no, 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 hold no. on, brother, brother, hold Wait, on. But you're saying something is not right. Hold on, you're let me finish Moses my point. Let me finish my point. Okay, okay. so if Joseph did not write this, but it was written down later on after Joseph, okay, then the author at the time would be using simple language in his time to um, communicate a particular office of a person in history. And do you know what? You shouldn't have a problem with this because there's that, you have the same thing in the Quran. For example, in the Quran in Surah 12, Muhammad, and by the way, I'm not having this as an argument against the Quran. No, 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 brother. It's, it's germane to the point. I'm showing you that writing styles throughout history have applied this same method, using your own language in your modern context to describe something back then so your modern day readers understand what you're saying. In the Quran, you have the exact same thing. And this, one second, I'm trying to get, brother, I'm trying to get to it. And I'm saying this doesn't disprove the Quran. I'm just showing you that writing styles, this is what happens. So in Surah 12, for example, Muhammad says about Joseph being sold into slavery. He says that he was sold for 12 dirhams, okay, in the Quran. But the problem is, and it's not really a problem, but I'm saying if you want to be consistent, the problem for you would be dirhams was not used as a currency in the time of Joseph, okay? Oh, so let, let me check it, it wouldn't have been What's used, that? hold on, Surah 12, it would not have been used as currency in the time of Joseph, but all Muhammad's doing, and I grant this, it's perfectly fine, he's just using his modern day currency to describe the currency of the price of Joseph back then. So it's like, it's like, so one second, brother, brothers, brothers, it's like me saying, okay, one, brothers, 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 one second, it's like me saying, okay, brothers, one second, it's like me saying, okay, uh, in China, the tea is for five pounds. It's not five pounds, but I'm using my currency in the context we're speaking in, so you understand what I'm saying. And I'm saying that's all that happens. It needs to be 100% Brother, accurate. brother, 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 accurate. one second. And that's all that happens in the time of Moses and Joshua. These books were written after the time of Joseph, so the modern day language was applied to historical time. And that's fine. The Quran does that. Every writing does that. Okay, you said the Quran does that. What verse? What okay, the verse? verse? Okay, in Surah 12, I believe it's verse... Let me pull it, I'll pull it up. Okay, so it's Surah 12, verse 20. Some translations may say silver coins, but even in the time of Joseph, silver coins were not used as currency. And by the way, we need to make this clear. I'm not using this as an argument. Who told you that yeah, silver coins brother. or Durham's wasn't used back then? Okay, do you know when Durham's came about? Oh, tell me what's Much there? later. Yeah, you, you say that, but I don't know that exact... Tell me the this is basic evidence. knowledge, my friends. Their hands were not. Their hands. And by the way, listen. You need. You need to understand. Know, listen. You need to understand, brother. You're taking this as an attack against Islam. I'm not saying that. Which I'm verse? just uh, Surah 12, verse 20. Yeah. I'm just saying that historically, this is what writing styles and authors did. They used modern day language and applied it to a historical context, so their modern day readers understood what was being said. And by the way, I don't have a problem with Muhammad doing that. That's not a problem for me. That's not a problem whatsoever. That's okay. The Quran was sent from God, not from wait, wait, listen, listen. That doesn't you answer what I've just said. You said their hands wasn't came until uh, later. Until after Joseph. Until after Joseph. Yeah. Tell me, where, where's the evidence? Where's the proof that you have? Talk to you, sir. Where's, where's the evidence? Yeah, where's the evidence that you say their hands were came after, after Joseph? Okay. Tell me, where's the evidence? Okay, I'll give, okay, all due respect, I'll give you one chance for that not to be your argument. Okay, that's my argument. Okay, that's, you, you want to stick with that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, because their hands... In fact, just simply do he me said, a favour now. Do me a favour right now. Do me, Joseph. yeah, do me a favour now. Yes, but Muhammad was after no, Joseph. This proves my point. Huh? This proves my point. Muhammad said Durhams, no, no, but Muhammad no, was no, no, brother, no, brother, Muhammad brother, brother. What's your name? Uh, don't worry about okay, so Muhammad used Durhams in this context to describe how much Joseph was sold for. Okay, now you might say this wasn't in, in a time of a, uh, uh, you know, how do you know this wasn't in the time of Joseph? Well, because Muhammad uses it, is what you're saying. Muhammad uses it because Muhammad came after Joseph. This is my point. He's using modern day currency no, no, to one second to describe the price of Joseph being sold. Now, you seem to be missing the point. There seems to be a disconnect. I'm not saying that Muhammad is wrong for doing that. He's not. That's perfectly acceptable for Muhammad to do that. It's like me saying five quid and referring to 1200 years ago in China, they weren't using five quid. But you understand my point, I'm speaking to modern day readers. That's all Muhammad did and that's okay. And I'm saying that's all, um that's all Moses did in terms of Joshua, no, and that's okay. I had the same argument with Ali Dawa, and he admitted it's Akhi, okay. Akhi, because the Rahim, the Rahim is how the Arabs used to understand it. Because back then, yes, I agree. Not, they're not going to know. They're not going to know every currency. I agree. That's, that's, that's why, okay. That's why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said the Rahim. My friend, you're, yeah, my friend, you're missing my point. I agree. That's okay. Brother, you are missing my point. I'm saying, I'm saying, for Muhammad to do that, that's fine. I agree. He should do that. In, in, the, in the context he's speaking in, he should say Durhams because that's what his audience understands in terms of currency. And that's what Moses done in the five books referring to Pharaoh because that's what the modern day readers and our readers now understand. That's all that happens. There's not a problem on both sides. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, 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 Thank you. Yeah, so what I'm saying is, I'm pointing, brother, what I'm saying is, I'm pointing out that your argument here is inconsistent. 
no, 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 no
don't know which book it is, but when it says it, it says someone, Jehovah died at 12 when he was a king or something like that. I don't know exactly the verse. Do you know what you need to do? I think maybe next time, because I might be here next week, you maybe need to look into that and bring that to me when you've got more of an argument. Is that okay? Because otherwise, we're arguing from something like, well, I've heard this, I'm not sure how to say it, but let's argue about it. I know, I know, I know where it says it, but I don't know the exact word and all that. What are you going to put that on? About the Bible, different books contradict each other. Contradict each other. How about this? How about, how about we go back to the... Simple Google search that will show you... Of course, of course. No, well, it doesn't, it doesn't. show you the different versions. Okay, the, the thing is, though, we need, to be, we need to be careful with this, okay? Because if we use, the, if we use an argument say, well, this is a contradiction, uh, we can use that with any writing, uh, with, any, with, any, with any book, any author. We can use that with the Quran, we can use that with the Bible. But we shouldn't do that in that kind of the way you're trying to do it because we have to understand this writing in its historical context. What they're trying to do with the genealogies, compression. What they're trying to do uh, in stories with the crucifixion, compression. To make a longer story shorter, and that's okay. The Quran does that, the Bible does it, every, every story does that. The Quran does do that. Okay, so there are stories in the Bible about prophets that are mentioned in the Quran, but, but yeah, brother, one second. There are stories in the, in the Bible that are mentioned about prophets that are that mentioned in the Quran, but have been shortened. It's called compression. Yeah, yeah mentioned them by name, but it doesn't say... It doesn't give the full details the, the Bible does, does it? The church, hold on, let's go there. I studied the church fathers. You said the church, you said, you said the church fathers changed it. Prove it. Because, because, hold on, hold on. Do, do you know what? Do you know what? If, if you're going to say the church, see, there's bro, a lot of the, the, the American American Bible with this uh, what? amplified Bible with this and that. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of. Uh, okay, do you know what that is, lists, brother? Do you, lists, do you know what that is? Do you know? Do you know what? Sorry. Sure. Do you know what you're referring to? You're you're referring to different translations of of. You're referring to different English translations of the versions, of the of the, of the original language. Okay. So you have it's the not original language. brother. You have the no no. Listen the to me. Original language is Hebrew. Right? Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm saying you are referring to English translations of the original languages. It's not. It's not. It's not the original language. No. You are. You listen, listen to what I'm saying carefully. You are referring to English translations of the original languages. Yes. I'm, I'm referring to different versions. Right, okay. So we have different translations in English of the original language, such as the Quran does. The Quran has different English translations, okay, yeah, that's of the Quran. Quran. No, no, the Quran's not English. No, no, listen, we, have, we have the original Quran, which is in Arabic. You're missing my point. Brother, you're missing my point. Wait, wait, wait. No, one, have, one second. Do you have a Hebrew Bible? Calm down. Do you have a Hebrew Bible? One second. Can I speak? Do you have the original Bible? Let me get to, no, my, no, let me no, get no, to the point. Because I need, I need you guys. The Quran has I different translations. No, no, okay. I need space no, no, to speak. Listen, listen, I know what you're trying to do. You're making a claim, but you slightly differ, differ the subject, so you don't. We no, don't I'm not. That point. No, I'm not. I'm, no, no, I'm trying to address it. Let no. me. If you listen to me speak, no, no, no. you'll hear well, my when answer. You, when you claim, when you, when you made the claim, we need to answer you. When you made the claim. No, no, you know. Sorry, no. We need to get this right. You made the claim. I'm trying to answer you. No, no, you're yeah. trying to stop me from answering you by making another claim. No, no, no. But you made the claim. We will see. No, let me finish. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, just like the Quran has different translations, we admit the English, the English translations are not the original. Absolutely. But we have English translations of the original languages, and that's all, the, that's all there is. So, so, for example, brother, one second. So, for example, okay, if we take a Greek phrase, okay, let's say we take a Greek phrase in, um, okay, for example, a classic example, there's, this is an error of translation, but it gives you an example. In the Jehovah's Witness Bible, okay, they're not Christians, but in their Bible, they'll translate one Greek phrase, okay, uh, in John 1.1, 1, 1, as in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was a God. But their same translation translate that same, that same Greek phrase in uh, 2 Corinthians 5.19 as just God. So that's an error on their part that demonstrates that you have a flexibility in how you translate things. Do you understand? In a similar way, we, even, in, even in legitimate translations, like let's say the NASB or the Douay Rings, you can translate from the NASB, <coughs> so you can translate one Greek phrase uh, then Jesus did this, and another translation may say, then Jesus went on to do this. There's no difference. There's no, there's no difference in meaning. When you said about the Quran in English, <coughs> the, the English Quran or something like that, I don't know how you worded it. When, when the Quran changed to English, the words in English, that's not Quran normal, that's just a translation. I'm, so, I'm saying, I understand that, I understand that. So, we're working from two different paradigms. Yeah. We have no problem with translating the Bible from its original language, yeah, yeah, but, hold on brother, to English or Swedish or German. You guys have a slight issue with that. Yeah. 
why do we have a slight issue with that? Huh? Do you know why we have a slight issue with that? Because uh, you believe it changes the meaning to the point where it's no longer, uh, no longer really the Quran. We don't believe that. No, no, no. You can't put your beliefs onto us. That's not, that's not how. Basically, when we have the original voice, yeah, when we read the translation, we read in English, it's easier for me to read it in English, right? But let's say I have a, I stumble on some verse which it doesn't I'm I'm kinda of shaky about it. I don't I'm not sure it's in the original book. So I go back to the original book, I read it. If it is the same translation, then I can I can say yeah, that's that's quite long. And by the way, no 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 by the way brother brother. Christians can do the same thing. If there's an English translation, okay, this is what this is what people do. Scholars, um, theologians, etc. When they get to a particular passage in the New Testament, now they may struggle. How should it really be translated like this? For example, the NLT is a translation, okay. It, it leans towards more of a paraphrase. This will translate certain things from the Greek, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize. That's okay. So the NLT would translate things from the Greek, okay, uh, in a particular way that I don't think are very, very good. So what do we do? We go back to the Greek and see what the Greek says, and then we work out which translation is best or better. And you guys can do the same. There's no problem. That's okay. By the way, I'm not making the argument. Oh, hold on, brother. I'm not making the argument that the English translation of the Quran is perfect. I'm not saying that. I'm speaking from my paradigm. I'm saying that we. we be sure because you don't have the original book. When you read the translation, that translation can, that that writer can put anything he wants. He and you need to it. prove that. Prove. Okay, yeah, do me a favor. Do me a favor. I can't prove no, it. No, you know do, why? Do, do, you know why I can't prove it? Because I don't have the original book. But we have the earliest manuscripts. Yeah, so if you take if, if you take the you uh, hold on, the brother. Original. If you take the earliest manuscripts of what we have, you should be able to find a discrepancy from here. To manuscripts that come 50 to 60 years later, you should be able to find that yeah, a, discre a discrepancy that, that changes that the that meaning that or that changes that the that theology that entirely. That gap, <laughs> that gap, that 60 years you're talking about, we don't know what happened in between. People might change something we don't even know. So in the Quran, we know. It's but you're working, right? you're working from a hypothetical. No, I'm not. No, you are. You're, say, you're saying we don't know if this did happen. Therefore, I'm going to assume it did. That's not how no, we no, do no, historical I'm not studies. It did. I'm not assuming it did, I'm just saying it's, it's not original because I don't <coughs> back up. When I'm reading the translation, you books have, um, it's not the original, so I don't have any backup to go back to the original books. But we go back to what we have, the earliest manuscript. Yeah, do you know what, do you know why, can I, brother, brother, do you know why we don't have the original manuscript from Mark himself? Do you know why? Do you know why? Sorry. Because, for example, many things in those times would have been written on um, pretty flimsy material because it would have cost an absolute fortune okay, to have the Bible written down on animal skins, which would be the better way to do things because of longevity. It would last longer. Okay? So because not everyone could afford to do that, the Christians wanted to get the message of Christ out as quickly as possible, so they used things like rock, stone, uh, flimsy kind of paper, that will deteriorate over time, okay? So we don't have the originals, granted, because it's 2,000 years, we're not expected to have the originals. But what we do have is the earliest copies that go right back to the first century, or yeah, second century. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm not, I'm not saying that we should, you should have the original, I'm just saying it's not good enough that you don't have the original because you don't have any backup to go back to. In the Quran, we have, any, we have backup, just, just learn Arabic, then read the Quran straight from God. It's 100%. You're presupposing it's from God, but if I can show you a discrepancy within the uh, Quranic narrative about the life of Christ, then you have an issue. Then you can say yeah, it's not from God. That, for example, brother, for example, as I, as I referenced at the very beginning of this conversation, the easiest way to pr disprove Islam <coughs> is to look at the historical life of Christ. Because we both claim Christ for our own, yes? You claim Christ as your prophet, I claim him as my Lord, yes? Yes? Okay, so when we look at the earliest testimony of the life of Christ, okay, what do we see? We see Jesus making divine claims. We see those who followed him may, uh, said that he was God, said they worshiped. For example, one second, brother. For example, let's take the Gospel of John, okay? We cannot take the Gospel of John and the author of John away from history. We have to deal with this in its historical context, okay? And the Gospel of John, for example, calls Jesus God over and over and over again. It says that Jesus is worshipped in John 9, 38, okay? But if there is a discrepancy between John and the, the Christians that came after, because if John's gospel, as many Muslims here try to argue, I've debated Hashim, he tries to argue that the gospel of John is not really trying to portray Jesus as God. That's what he argues. If that's the case, okay, then we should see um, those people coming after John, who are taught by John, teaching that this Gospel of John doesn't really teach the deity of Christ. And we don't see that. Do you know why? 
because in my bag right now, I'm going to get it for you to show you, I have the writings of Saint Ignatius of Antioch. Do you know who that is? Ignatius of Antioch, okay, was a disciple of John. The he was a disciple of the Apostle John, who was taught by Christ. Do you know, sorry brother, do you know what he says in his writings about the life of Christ? He calls Jesus the God. He says, huh? Okay, you say that person, I don't know who that is exactly. <laughs> But the evidence you had of Jesus is not is not authentic. How do you know that? Because, because I have so I have I have the right brother. I have the right in school. Brother, I have the right. It's not anonymous. It's it's from. No, no, I know that guy. I don't know. He might be anonymous or maybe not. But okay. <coughs> okay. Let's take that argument. Let's say, for example, uh, although Ignatius claims uh, Ignatius, although Ignatius claims to be an apostle of John, how do we know John really wrote John? Is that your argument, really? Yes. In 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 essence. Yes. Okay. Well. When we look at the when we look at the uh, Gospel of John, we see a very interesting thing. Towards the end of John's Gospel, okay, it actually claims to be written by a disciple, because he goes on to say, "This is the disciple who wrote these things down." Yes, that's. In, I'm, I'm about to get to that. <clears throat> so in John 21, it says, "This is the disciple who wrote these things down," and we know his testimony is true. Why? Because he was there seeing the very events of the life of Christ. Brother, brother, one second. So just from that, we can see this was a disciple. Doesn't doesn't give us the fact that it's John, but it does in fact say this is coming from a disciple. Then we look to those people who came after John, who were taught by John, like Polycarp. Polycarp taught a man called Irenaeus. Irenaeus, in his writings against heresies, says that John wrote the Gospel of John. So. Let's bear in mind, I just referenced Polycarp, who was a friend of Ignatius, because that same Ignatius who talks about Jesus being God, was taught by John. He wrote letters to Polycarp, who was also taught by John. So you have two people who were both taught by John, claiming, to, claiming that Jesus is God, claiming that they understood from the Apostle John that Jesus is in fact the Saviour of the world and God. Okay. And, and that we shake hands and leave it there, yes? Yeah, okay. But you mentioning all these names, which I don't know about these people, I don't know man, <laughs> all I'm saying, all I know, the books you have of the Bible is not authentic, it's not 100% right, there might be some changes, I don't know, I'm not saying Okay, how about this, how about this, how about this, how about this, brother, brother, how about this, you're making many claims about the Bible now, you're saying I don't know, but this is what I believe, how about, how about this, how about this, I'm going to be here next week, you go away, you think about what we've spoken about, okay, and you bring me back better arguments, okay, because at the moment I can't deal with I think it's corrupted, but I don't know how. Okay? Is that fair? Yes? Yeah, I can okay. see that. Have a nice week. Have a good week. Well, uh, let me ask you a question. Why, do you, why don't you believe in the Quran then? Why don't you believe Based upon everything I've just said. Why? Because the, the, his, the, 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 the historicity of, of the life of Christ. Okay, the life of Christ. I because think about you, it. You think, keep going. You keep brother, going think about it like this. If Muhammad, the Quran comes along 600 years later. Yes, we agree. After, after the time of Christ, 600 years later, written by no one who saw Jesus, no one who knew Jesus, no one who lived with Christ. Not, we, brother, brother, we have people here, okay, example Ignatius, who is taught by the man who lived with Christ. And he's saying Jesus is God. We have John's writings, yeah, this, we, have John, brother, brother, we have John's writings itself, who is clearly claiming to be a disciple, who is saying that Jesus is God. It says, he says, this is the disciple who wrote this down. He yeah, says he's a disciple. Doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing. Okay, so if I say to you now, you okay, brother, if I say to you now, I am a participant in this discussion, okay, does that mean anything? If I say to you, I am a participant in this discussion, and some guy over there comes along and says, that means nothing. Because is that you nonsense? You, can't, you have evidence because the cameras are here, you can show them. We have evidence in the writings. And we have evidence from those people, that's, brother, that's brother. Him, we have him. evidence of those people who are taught by the apostle himself. They claim that Jesus is God okay, because okay. they heard it from a disciple of Christ. And not only that, we have, for example, other church fathers, sorry, we have other church fathers like Clement of Rome. Clement is mentioned in the Bible itself. Clement is mentioned in the Bible. He was a successor of Peter in regards to the Bishop of Rome. He says in his letter to the Corinthians that Jesus is God. And he's in the Bible. He's mentioned in the Bible. It doesn't mean nothing. Do you know what? That's him, claim, that's him claiming to be he's a disciple of God. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean that he's a disciple of God. Let's do you know what? Do you know what? Okay, it means a lot more. <coughs> that means a lot more than someone 600 years after the fact. Okay, but <coughs> believing that Muhammad wrote the book himself, but he didn't write it down. I never said that. I never said that. You just, you, you, no. <laughs> saying that because of the gap of the years, like 600 years between Jesus and Muhammad, that means that is the... Uh, what I'm saying is this, not, not, what I'm saying is this, it means you are having this discussion now, okay? And this gentleman here, what's your name? 
I didn't hear that, but him, David, okay, let's say David hears this conversation now, yes? Okay? And then, if he's going to tell this story about this conversation, okay, who should we trust more? David? Yeah? Or someone 25 years later who was never in the country, never there, who should we trust? You need to prove it's inspired by God. Yeah, because in the Quran it said it's a law. No, no, but what, what you're in, what, what, what you're, brother, brother, you're engaging in a logical fallacy called a vicious circle. Okay, you're saying it says it's from God, therefore it's from God. Yeah, yeah, but why do you believe in it? Ask me, why do you believe in the Quran is from God? Ask me that, yeah? Why do you believe the Quran is from God? Because God says so. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. No, no, no. It's not, yeah, God says it's from him. But it, it, it got evidence of that why he's saying it's from God. Because it contains like, a miracle. Like, the, 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 message the Bible contains it. miracles. In fact, okay, how about this? There's a church historian who references, <coughs> there's a church historian who references, okay, a miracle that was in the Bible. There, there, was, there was a reference in the Bible uh, to a church historian, okay, who says that, do you know when the sun darkened in, in the crucifixion account? Okay, well this is, this is a, a mention of a, a miracle that took place in the Bible that's mentioned in a church historian some hundreds of years after Christ. So we can all say miracles, we can all say that. Wait, wait, wait. What's the story? The, okay. the do you know when the, 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 the sky went dark, etc. Um, after the crucifixion? Okay, well it's a miracle in the Bible mentioned by a church historian some hundreds of years after. That's fair enough, like I say, you go away, research it, come back to me, because the historical argument is strong. What's this? No, <coughs> Thanks, brother. Just, brother, just listen, brother, listen, brother, listen, listen, listen. Let's, let, let's, not do, let's not do the kicking while you're down. Right, research right. it and get back to me. Yeah? Well, you research the Quran as well because I don't think you have enough. <coughs> <coughs> Let me break. Yeah, so, <coughs> forgive me, I'm losing my voice. So, um, can you still hear me? My voice is going. So, we had a discussion on. I always forget. We had a discussion on um, the deity of Christ and the historicity of the person of Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, we, we went into all of that. And um, basically his arguments were, I've heard this is true, but I don't know about it. So I basically said to sum the whole thing up, go away, look into it, and then get back to me. Okay. And that's basically the sum of the conversation. Okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you, man. Right, cool. <coughs>